We're almost on scene. There's definitely smoke, but no visible signs of fire. Looks more like signal flares. Gonna say this is probably a false alarm or a prank. Copy that. You're clear to proceed. Ah, I told you this was a prank. I don't see any fire. <sighs> who in their right mind finds this kind of thing funny? People who enjoy causing a commotion. Huh. Hey, check it out. What in the hell? Hmm. Oh, shit. Ugh. Can't we just report this one in and go? Come on, man. You know we can't just leave this be. In Japan, 99.9% .9 of criminal trials end with a guilty verdict. That makes the odds for a defense lawyer to get an acquittal about 10,000 to 1. But I beat those odds on a murder case. It's a hell of an achievement. Unfortunately, it came with a price. The death of an innocent woman. The shadows of truth escape the courtroom, and when they do, Someone has to drag them back into the light. The reality is, the law is neither as perfect or as fair as it's supposed to be. So I've made it my job to give those without a voice a chance to be heard. Hey, uh, talk. What? Man, I'm bored. It sucks. How about you hit me with some trivia then? That would pass the time. Oh, I mean, come on, man. You never know how long a stakeout's gonna last. Even Keiko chan's losing her mind. I'm sure she is. Give me a sec to come up with a zinger, okay? <laughs> Okay, sure. You think up a tough question, and I just leave you to your thoughts. Wait a damn minute! How does that even solve this problem then, man? Um, Kaito-san? I don't think I'm really in the mood for trivia at the moment. Okay, fine. We gotta spice this up somehow. So, Keiko-chan, this internet boy... How'd you end up on the raw end of a scam like this? How is this spicing things up? Besides, we don't even know for sure if it was a scam yet, right? Exactly. Kaito-san here is just jumping to conclusions. It'll be fine, Keiko-san. Don't worry. At Yagami Detective Agency, we make sure our clients' hearts are at the heart of our business. <sighs> That's so great to hear. I know I hired just the right people. Damn straight. Sunshine and rainbows with us. Kosuke-kun did say he always eats fast food for lunch. Yeah, but after 20 minutes, I think he'd be done by now. I don't know. He always makes me worry, even his eating habits. Say, Kiko-chan. How a sweet girl like you get roped in by some dude off the net, huh? I wouldn't call it that at all. Would you believe me if I said we took it slow at first? I'd say his patience paid off. Maybe it's hard for you to see, but he is a caring guy. So he drags you to the shadiest dive in Kamurocho and calls it a date? 
<laughs> Sounds like a real catch. He was just trying to impress me. He, he couldn't have known what would happen. Then he sticks his own girl with a bill? Dickhead doesn't begin to describe it. I mean, he is still in college. And besides, he said if we didn't pay, they'd call the Yakuza to collect. So they bled you out of 800 grand, 400 still to go, for a total of 1.2 mil. It'd be practically impossible to pay all that in one lump sum. Exactly. That's where Kosuke Kun's idea came in. He said I could make some easy money working one of those clubs. Yeah, I'll bet he did. Did he say anything about working with those Yakuza from the start? Got this girl, they go out, he racks up a tab. Next thing you know, she's on the market to pay it off. Same shit, different day in this town. Now you're just jumping to conclusions. Besides, a business taking advantage of people like that would have gotten shut down in no time, right? <sighs> Afraid not. Some lines the law just can't cross until it's too late. But I do owe you some credit for turning to a man like Genda-sensei. He's been defending this city a long time now, and his team's rock solid. Yeah, and when things get too dirty for them, Genda calls in guys like us to clean it up. Good for you, I guess. Listen, Kiko-chan, I hate to be so blunt, but Kosuke's totally been gaming you from the get-go. Until you see that for yourself, there's not much we can do for you. Ain't that right, Tuck? Well, let's not jump the gun, Kaito-san. We don't have proof of anything yet. Speaking of which, there's our man of the hour. Kosuke-kun! I'm gonna need to follow him. You two stay here. Hopefully we'll get this all cleared up. <laughs> About time we saw some action. Careful out there, Tuck. Hey, Tuck, you read me? You gonna be okay tailing this guy? Or do you need the detective basics, man? Kaido-san, please. I could tail him in my sleep. <laughs> the manual says to keep your eyes open, actually. Gotta be careful here. Kaido-san, you made contact with a new face. I'm gonna get a shot as evidence. Good call.
Now. Sent that photo to your phone. Any sage advice? Yeah, I see. It's a perfect shot, buddy. So, who's Kosuke's new friend? Any ideas? That's what I'm gonna try and find out. I'll be in touch. Man, I haven't seen you in forever, Sakura Chai. It's because you barely show up to the club events, Kosuke Senpai. I probably wouldn't have seen you today either if I hadn't mistaken someone else for you. Sorry, I've just been so busy. I know, I gotta make time for the club. I know you've got a busy schedule, but it's not the same without you, Senpai. A lot of girls quit because you stopped showing up, you know? Oh, damn, that sucks. Uh, guess I better make some effort, huh? Yeah, that'd be great. But Senpai... While we're on the subject... Yeah? I hope you won't do anything that'll get those girls' hopes up either. I don't know if you know this, but the girls had a few big fights, actually. All that anger could boil over in your direction at any time is all I'm saying. Yeah? Wouldn't want that. I'll be careful. Well, I've gotta get going to my next thing. Okay. Make sure you stop by the club, huh? Okay. Wait a sec, that's Yagami. He's the detective who reported Anaki's affair to his old lady. Yeah, fuck that guy! Anaki got so pissed, he took it out on us! Still fucking sore about it! Yo, Yagami! Just your luck to be passing by us today. You're a dead man, bro! Man, this neighborhood never changes, does it?
Get more cash. Guess I'll stop by the Popo. lot right now. He's just wandering around town. Pretty much killing time like your average college student. Any idea where he's headed? Good question. Actually, he just ducked into a building. I'm going after him. Hey, buddy. You new here? You can't just go waltzing in. And why not? Because I said so, that's why. Now beat it. Hey, didn't I tell you to leave? Don't make me call the cops on your ass. Isn't that a little excessive? All I wanted was to look around. Well, there's nothing to see here, so go look somewhere else. There's definitely more to this place than meets the eye. Suspicious. What the? Hmm? What the? Hmm. No way that's gonna work. This is 
suspicious. Suspicious. Talk. You hanging in there, buddy? Uh, kinda hit a wall here. What's that supposed to mean? You didn't lose the guy, did you? Look, my hands are tied right now. But everything's under control. Oh, uh, hey guys. Didn't mean to interrupt. Hey, who's this clown? First time I've ever seen him. Oh, you see, I'm, uh, Kosuke's guest. Guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who the hell's Kosuke? Ah, that's the kid who keeps hanging around. You'd think he'd have wised up by now. Wait, then he'd be on the fifth floor. So what are you doing down here? Seriously. It's like he got me lost on purpose. You mind, uh, pointing me in the right direction? Take the stairs to the fifth floor, then head all the way back. Your friend will be in the tatami room. The tatami room? Oh, of course. Should've known this wasn't it. Before you go, I'm gonna need to verify your membership. Did Kosuke give you a card? Uh, he should have? Shoot, I can't seem to find it. <laughs> That's so. Well, now we got a problem. Sorry. I'll be more careful next time, promise. There won't be a next time, dumbass! We don't carry cards here! Now who the hell are you, and how'd you get in? Better start talking! Ugh, here we go. Tell me, what's Kosuke doing in the tatami room? We're not telling you shit!
Nah, you good? What's going on? I'm still in that building with Kosuke-kun. Had a little run-in with some watchdogs. And apparently, Kosuke's no stranger. Right now, he's in their tatami room. Oh, he is, huh? What do you think he's up to? Well, a betting man would say he's gambling. If it's a members-only building with goons posted on every corner, I'm telling you now, the tatami room ain't no tea shop. Huh. Not a bad theory at all. It's like you're speaking from experience, Kaito-san. <laughs> You've got questions? I've got answers. I said we have an intruder! I don't know how he got in! Say what? <laughs> what happened? You there? Tell me something, Tog. Why is a college kid hanging out with a bunch of gambling lowlifes? We're seeing this kid's true colors now, if you ask me. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt until we catch him red-handed. Innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> is that some lawyer creeping back into your detective work? Well, whatever. Just don't get yourself caught. Unless you want to fight on your hands. Believe me, I don't. Alright, let's go. Got a minute? I heard we got an intruder in here. Let the others know for me. Yeah, okay.
Almost there. Got it. Just stand there. Shut the door already. Come on, I had you! Ah! Why does this always happen? Come on, folks, who wants another round? Everyone place their bets? Now or never! You know you're on a losing streak, Kosuke. Why not be a good little boy and go home? Are you kidding? I was just getting warmed up! Huh? Didn't know you were such a high roller. Where are you, uh, getting all that cash from, anyway? <laughs> Can't say too much about it, but... I got me a pretty good hustle. Another girl with stars in her eyes, huh? Jeez, go ahead and tell the whole room. Hey, keeping it a secret's on you. All right, Kaito-san, you called it. Kosuke-kun just blew all his earnings on Chohan. <laughs> Told ya. So, what do you say we do? Because I say we cut to the chase and have us a little one-on-one. -on -one. Huh. My thoughts exactly. Good. I'll bring the car around. College boys about to learn something they don't teach in class. Hey man, hold up a sec. I think you dropped something. Huh? I've got my phone on me. What'd I lose? Well, it could be any number of things, to tell you the truth. Maybe your conscience, or even your integrity. You feel like you might have left those somewhere? Huh? What's your freaking problem? Does scamming a young lady ring any bells for you? You've been working with a crooked bar to make her foot a 1.2 million yen bill. What in the hell are you even talking about, dude? Have you conned so many girls you can't even keep the scam straight anymore? You better back off me. I've got the full support of the Tojo clan on this thing, man. Still think it's wise to talk shit? The Tojo clan? You mean the Yakuza? <laughs> Pissing yourself yet? You're about to be real sorry, asshole! <laughs> the Tojo clan thugs got disbanded ages ago. If name-dropping a long-dead gang was supposed to scare me, I'm not very impressed. Son of a... Let's fucking go! I wouldn't do that if I were you. That excuse for a punch told me all I need to know. Fuck you, man! That last one was just a warning shot! No more chances! The gloves are coming off right now, bro, and you're gonna get fucked up! I hear you, kid. So, I can take the gloves off too, right? For real right now? Well, I 
pump iron at the gym once a week, my man. You're going down. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yoshiro-san! Over here! Please, you gotta help me! Kosuke, what happened? This guy giving you trouble? Yeah, he just started wailing on me all of a sudden! He did? Well, what's your problem? This gentleman you're harassing is my client. Client? Had a tatami room term for gambling addict? <laughs> gambling? Who told you about the tatami room? People only get in through me. And I sure as hell don't know you. Look, I don't have time to play around right now. Too late, asshole. You just signed up for a beating! Now you're really asking for it. Leave me alone! You won't get away!
Come on, Kosuke Kun. Are you done? <laughs> you can't help yourself, can you, Tom? For being a lawyer, you sure like to settle things with your fists. A, a lawyer? How the fuck are you a lawyer? Yagami-san, you're not really a detective? I'm a detective, all right. As for the badge, I still have a license to practice, so I hold on to it. Is it safe to assume, then, you used to work at Genda Law? Yep. Hit the nail on the head, actually. These days, he hands off the gigs that are better suited for detectives, like him. Now it's making a little more sense. Did you catch all that, kosuke -kun? Huh? Well, if you want a closer look, I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. What? Yeah, care to go for a ride? <laughs> We're gonna be buds, Kosuke. John, don't let these assholes con you. Believe me, I didn't do anything wrong. Who the hell are these thugs? Who is Yuko-chan? Uh, well, My name is Keiko, you jerk. I did think I trusted you. Here's the deal, Kosuke-kun. First, you're gonna cancel her debt to that bar. But that's not even my call. And second, they'll be returning every yen she paid. Plus a little extra for us having to deal with your bullshit. You're out of your freaking mind! Do you even know who you're- I have a pretty good idea. And I don't think very highly of con artists who prey on innocent women. <laughs> you tell him, Todd. Hey! That's my phone! Dial up that bar for me, would ya? What bar? Drop the act, kid. That scam is the oldest trick in the book. You don't have any proof! Proof? Do we need to spell it out for you? We've got you by the balls, you shit. Who even are you people? <laughs> Some of Kamarocho's finest. The Yagami Detective Agency. You mean... you're detectives? It's in the name. Smart guy. Huh? Everyone in town knows us. They do? You're goddamn right they do! Don't talk like you never heard of us! Give the guy a break, Kaito-san. We're still getting our name out there. Uh, no. Look, I, I get what you're after, but give it up! That money's as good as gone! The guy who runs that bar's ex-Tojo clan! I was lying when I said he's Yakuza! Yeah? Well, I used to roll with the Tojo myself. I might even know the dumb bastard. You know he's all bark and no bite, don't you? The Tojo clan got disbanded. Yeah, but he's still a criminal! Just because his clan broke up doesn't change a thing! He's just a dickless ex-Yakuza strutting around, flashing a pin that don't mean shit. Still, even an ex-Yakuza is dangerous, right? Are you sure you'll be safe? Yeah, got this under control. Danger is our specialty. So, which number is the bar keeps? You... I really shouldn't. Still worried about pissing off an ex-Yakuza? I'd worry more about the one right in front of you. Or would you rather try your luck? Uh. Yo. What's up, Kosuke? Hey, uh, Chief. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be back at the shop, would you? Yeah. I am. Why, you, uh, find yourself a new chick, huh? Oh, you just keep reeling them in, don't you? <laughs> not exactly. No? Well, hey, at least you still got Keiko on lock. Yeah, these broads will do anything if you know how to squeeze them right. You could make a fortune milking her. Bastard. Wait a minute, though. What happens when Keiko brings you the money? Oh. 
that simple. First, we take the cash off her hands. Then we slap on a last minute late fee and send her sobbing all the way to the soap land. <laughs> right, sounds like you got it all figured out. Wait, why'd your voice change all of a sudden? <laughs> Took you long enough. Wait up. Who the hell is this? I suggest you remember this voice. Because I'm about to come knocking. And this time, you'll be the one paying the price. Holy shit. You're kind of insane, man. Sorry to break this to you, Keiko-san. Kosuke-kun had you fooled. No matter what lengths you went to for him, all he ever thought of was using you. You were just an easy mark the whole time. Don't get me wrong, Keiko-san. This did start out as business, but now I've seen... Uh, the light! <laughs> oh! That's enough out of you. Come on. Let's get you back to Gendas before the fireworks start. Trust me, you'll be safe there. <sighs> okay. You wouldn't want to see what we're going to do to that place anyway. <laughs> it's going to get ugly. You mean you're going to take them on alone? <laughs> That's always how it goes down around here for some reason. Let's go, Kiko-san. Gendo Sensei's office is just up ahead. This is Genda Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, is like a father to me. He's been a well-respected figure in Kamrajo for years. Genda Sensei... Huh? Where is everyone? Oh, Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> Sorry to impose, Genda Sensei, but can Keiko-san stay here a while? Fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway. Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Saurikun and Hoshino-kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti-nuisance ordinance violation. Huh? Oh, you mean... It's a groping case? She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it, the culprit was a cop, of all things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. It was all over the internet. Anything that stops the trains during rush hour makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been, I don't recall. Like, that'll do him any good. Stop that man! That man's a grover! Stop him! Stop him! I, I, 
I need to do it. Let go. Hey, hey, let me go. Someone help. Get a station car. This man grabbed me on the train. He put his hand up my skirt. No, you're wrong. You got the wrong guy. Stop struggling, asshole. Let me go. The cops can check your hands to see if you did it or not. Be here in a second now, so just chill out. Hey, are you filming this? Put that camera away. Do you mind sitting up straight in court, please? <laughs> A bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Does it even matter? It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. Leave an impression. <laughs> well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical, either. Besides, the judge hasn't... It's decided. Guilty is charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? And so, let's get this show on the road. All rise. Well, like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Sauri Kuhn at the bench, but... Oshinokun insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Saurikun's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, how'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean... he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the force, anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it, in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Kamuro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kuhn, who just happened to take the call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san. Shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. Give me just a sec, actually. Huh? Shop talk? Let's get to work. 
That's what I'm talking about. This the dump you brought Keiko-chan to? It is! So could you please just let me go? Not a chance. You get a front row seat for when your boss shows up. What are you, crazy? He'd murder me on the spot! Then he'd murder you two for dessert! Huh. He's that scary, huh? Yes, actually. Not to mention all his boys. All the more reason to put him in his place. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. Agreed. Oh, hold on. Sugiura. Really? Oh, could he choose a worse fucking time? Talk about a buzzkill. Hey there. Miss me? Jeez, it's been what? Half a year? Everything good over there? Good as it gets. Well, I've got some good news of my own I wanted to give you, man. Tsukumo-kun and I have our very own detective agency. Wait, are you saying you started a detective agency? Meaning, now you're a detective? Yep, got our own office and everything. It's in Yokohama. Didn't want to muscle in on your turf. Man, I don't know what to say. Oh, and by Tsukumo, you mean... The one and only. At least, the only one I know. Thought his hacking might give us an edge. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You wanna wrap this up, Doc? Anyway, we got a pretty big case. And to be honest, we're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the pros? So they can show us how it's done. Uh, do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh yeah? More sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Give me just a hint. Sorry, buddy. Set? Huh. Then let's roll. Kosuke, care to explain what the fuck's going on? It's... Uh, not what you think. We're here on account of a woman named Keiko Hamada. She says she's been threatened by an illegitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami Detective? Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There! You see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. Huh. As for me, the name's Kaito. Used to wear the Matsugane <laughs> myself. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masaharu Kaito. Ugly as an ape and just as dumb. Let's an amateur thief get the drop on him, then forks over the family safe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a real legend. Don't talk like you were there, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here! Come on now, don't give him what he wants. Fuck it. Now that we're past introductions, we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know the best part of breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. Huh? No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. And guess what I spent the cash on? The walls. Now this is damn good soundproofing. Meaning whatever goes on inside, stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient that is. You hear that, Kaito-san? He says we're free to cut loose. Oh, yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of... Hey, uh, hold that thought a minute. 
Greetings, Yagamishi. Did Sugiyoroshi call you a second ago? He did, but look, Tsukumoto, now's really not a good time. Oh, so you really are just busy? He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I'd hate to think he upset you, you know? But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apologies. Yep, no offense taken, man. But you see my point, right? Sugiyoroshi and I are a team. Our actions reflect on each other. Any responsible member of a company, I mean, any responsible member of society, it's, it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but when is later? Should I call you back? If you have an estimate, I can set a timer. That way I'll know when it's convenient. Right, uh, where do we leave off? You gotta be shitting me! Yeah, pretty lame talk. That's it. You jokers are dead meat! Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. Well, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, I've sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, kick and chop. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito-san. Apparently that's a thing now. You see, if you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that leave you behind. Fine, fine. Hear you loud and clear. Saori-san and Hoshino-kun sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe they stopped for a quickie somewhere. There's nothing between those two. Nothing real, anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. Wisdom comes with age, huh? Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. You talking about Matsugane-san? Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamuracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. We will. That goes without saying. Well, 
I guess we should get going. I guess so. Thanks for having us on such short notice. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. All rise. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, is six months of penal servitude. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. Hmm? You'd rather hear this standing up? Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. What? What the hell? What is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. In that case, make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times, but he was never even accused of a crime. No, he just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken system. Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Defense? Do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? Uh, Your Honor, we, uh, well... Huh? How's that for an honest day's work? I just want to go put my feet up in the office. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugiura, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugiura and Tsukumo? They're detectives now. Those two detectives? A <laughs> good one, Todd. Wait, you serious? This game is absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Man, yeah, what a fucking scam. Fuck this. I'm beyond pissed. I need to unload on someone's face! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Why don't we go give some asshole a game over? You know I'm always down.
What a waste. Really, guys? Let's roll, Tom. Stay down. What is it? Oh, uh, would you? This is the Yagami Detective Agency. I run the place with the help of my partner, an ex-Yakuza named Kaito. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing. But the reality is, we'd be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda-sensei. It's not like we don't have the technology. But when street smarts fail, most of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot. Guess we can finally take a breather. Weren't you supposed to call Sugiura? I was, wasn't I? Crazy how he ended up in our line of work. After seeing us in action, who could blame him? Yagami-san, everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a long story. You were saying something about a big case? Oh, yeah. Listen, man, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. And if we can ace this case I've got lined up, we'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh, yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? Just looking out for you, man. <laughs> Well, I do appreciate that. Then, should I save the details for when I see you? Sure. When do you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow, if you can swing it. We're based in Ichincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, are you free on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. If I tell them that, they'll lowball our cut, smart guy. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. Uh, sorry, Sugira. Yeah, tomorrow works just fine. Perfect. Man, this is gonna be so great. Oh, and Kaito-san's coming too, right? He'll be there. <laughs> See you guys soon, then. Sugira said he'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. <laughs> Way to build the suspense. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. 
Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. Yokohama 99's cross streets. Aww, it's not even close to Chinatown. So much for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Tsukumo's place is way out there. Want to take a taxi? I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that. Stay down. Let's roll. Yo, hold up a sec, talk. Nonsense over there. <laughs> That's not what I saw. So, what'd you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming me for? Knock it off! Chill out, man. Why do you care? I don't see anything that says I can't record here. Enough! Stop! 
Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? Whoa! Hey! What gives? You just kicked my sign over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through, right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told you! Put that down! Come on! Kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. Agreed. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> so, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pop. You goddamn brats! I got that one! He called us goddamn brats! You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no, I just don't want you loitering in front of my store! That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers! <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. Your parents buy it for you? Holy crap, he kicked Sakaki down! You must be seeing things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kinda dirty, don't you think? Let me see. Hey! Give me my phone back! You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. Asshole. You think you can fuck with us? You're gonna kick your ass! Come on! Guys are monsters. Yo, <laughs> was that Aikido just now? Oh, don't tell me you've been training in a secret dojo or something. Nah, uh, just more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Here, this came from one of those kids. Your call, what to do with it? <sighs> You really didn't have to, but thank you. Those were students from Serio High. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learn some manners the hard way in Kamurocho. Well, we've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomon gangsters. Those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. 
But anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. And I take it you're not from around here? Yeah, but we might end up staying. For a while, at least. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Yokohama 99. Yep, yeah, that's the place. Whoa, not too shabby, guys. Yo. Ah, if it isn't the man of the hour, Yagamishi. Gentlemen, welcome. How are you? <laughs> this guy. First he falls off the radar. Now he's got this sweet office. You're still quick as a thief. Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say thief isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. And it's all in the past now, so let's just leave it at that. The place is nice, though. Kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. Huh. For sure. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda for today's meeting, too. An agenda? Just roll with it. Give him a chance. All the detective talk has made him go a little overboard. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> it's all good. Imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. To sum up why we called you, we've been seeing a major upward trend with these kinds of cases. What do you think? Care to take a wild guess? I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find in Kamurocho. So, it's specific to Yokohama? I know. It's gang warfare. The outfits run in Chinatown or at each other's throats, and you guys sort out the aftermath. Well, we did just hear about the Yokohama Liumang. They're a gang, right? Yeah, the Yokohama Liu, whatever. Bet they're stirring up shit as we speak. Actually, we haven't run into any gang-related activity at all. 
No, what we're dealing with isn't so conspicuous. I'll just tell you, it's bullying. Bullying? Sometimes parents ask us for evidence to prove their child was bullied. Fairly often, they want these bullies taken to court immediately. They'll also want to hold the schools accountable, but none of that happens without solid proof. How old are these kids? Most of them are in middle school. Research shows that boys at that age experience a sudden spike in testosterone. This leads to outbursts to assert dominance, compounded by the irrationality of an immature brain. Scientifically, this potent mix of impulses often manifests as bullying. Yeah, I call that puberty. But that would apply specifically to boys, right? You're getting cases with girls involved too, aren't you? Ah, with girls it's more likely rooted in oxytocin, a brain hormone that also has links to bullying. See, oxytocin fosters feelings of attachment, regardless of your gender. For instance, scientists have observed that a mother's oxytocin levels surge when looking at her child. Then it's not always a bad thing, is what you're saying. Indeed. Did you know it was oxytocin that enabled cooperation among our primitive ancestors? Ancient matriarchs were particularly vulnerable during childbirth, thus requiring communal support. So you could kind of say the survival and reproduction of our species was largely oxytocin at work. After all, raising a child in the wilderness would have been impossible alone. However, this intense social need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Primitive as it was, punishment equated to justice, a necessary measure for society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. To put this into focus, these people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, modern-day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, those who don't conform are ostracized. That's how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization are deserving of punishment. All over the world, no matter where or when. Looks like you guys have been doing your homework. Tsukumo-kun's the one hitting the books. I'm more in charge of the fieldwork. Makes sense. Here's another fun fact while we're at it. An act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish the offender. In those cases, the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine, triggering an instant rush of pleasure. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Sure, but that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy, or it stops serving its purpose. Very perceptive, Yagamishi. So, back to reality. What's this big case that needs all the manpower? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone unturned. That said, he also requires us to be discreet. How big is this school? Uh, let's see, there are six classes per grade, making 18 in total. So approximately 600 students. Given that, Sugiyurashi and I couldn't possibly vet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out the specifics. How about the two of you come join us? We could use the help. Man, <laughs> for a couple of rookies, you sure have it together. You guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. Think of it as a little welcoming party. The restaurant's name is Kyoinro. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. <laughs> you didn't have to do that.
What a waste. Stay down. Excuse me. Arigatou gozaimashita. Really, guys? <laughs> Kyoinro. Looks like this is it. Are you almost here, Yagamishi? We went ahead and sat down. Actually, we're right out front. Excellent. Just give the host my name. Will do. <laughs> Was this the same guy living in a net cafe not too long ago? He sure has come a long way. Yeah, at this rate he'll leave us in the dust. Without further ado, allow me to introduce Yagamishi and Kaito-san, the gentlemen I mentioned before. They are, without a doubt, the finest private eyes in Kamurocho. Ah, yes. Tsukumo-san here has certainly been singing your praises. My name is Okuda. I'm the chairman of a private high school, Seiryo, if you've heard of it. Seiryo High. Isn't that where those kids were from? Yeah, the ones from earlier. Is something the matter? We actually ran into some of your students today. There must have been seven, eight of them. They were harassing a restaurant worker and recording it on their phone. Oh boy. And I'm guessing you didn't just stand and watch? You bet your ass we did. Had to knock a little sense into those brats. You mean there was an altercation? 
I... Perhaps I should pretend not to have heard that. Come on, pal. Why don't we cut the formal crap and tell it like it is? Because that would be unprofessional, Kaito-san. Chairman, we'd like to start investigating tomorrow. So would you mind sharing any background information you may have? Certainly, yes. Our administration has a very firm stance against bullying. Yet no policy is foolproof, and each situation is unique. We continually ask ourselves, are we taking proper measures to foster a supportive environment? Or, if enmity is already prevalent among the student body, are we addressing their concerns promptly enough? I believe the key is prevention. Stop bullying before it starts. And you're hiring detectives to help? Oh, yes. See, as this thought was dawning on me, I happened to cross a sign. Yokohama 99, it read. I visited your webpage, actually, and I discovered just how well-versed you were at this very matter. At that moment, I knew fate was guiding my hand. Sounds like you walked right out of a commercial. In most situations we've dealt with, we knew who the problem was beforehand. All we needed to do was get the evidence. But in this case, we don't even know if there's a bully in the first place. Hence why we called in the reinforcements. So, I take it you have some sort of plan? Of course. We're going to start by spreading hidden cameras throughout the school anywhere that bullying is most likely to occur. This footage should provide a detailed snapshot of student interaction that would otherwise go unnoticed. Then, after a two-week test run, we'll compile our data and present our initial analysis. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned spy cam. Yes, but if one of these spy cams were found, the whole operation could be compromised. As such, our pair of experts are intimately familiar with the complexities of human behavior, ensuring these cameras remain hidden. <laughs> Damn, you make me want to hire us. This secret stays between you and us, Chairman. Not even the guards or teachers can know. Do I have that correct? You do. I believe the more people who know, the more likely it is this would get out. At any rate, I've heard Yagami-san here has tackled many a difficult case in Kamrocho. I'm glad to have such a reliable detective on the job. You have my full confidence and backing. <laughs> they just keep raising the bar on us, don't they? So, Yagami-shi, if there's anything you'd like to ask the chairman, now's your chance. Hey, good idea. We might learn a thing or two from watching the Master at work. Way to put me on the spot, guys. But might as well. In the event we do uncover bullying, what action would you take? Of course, we would provide appropriate counseling, in addition to notifying the local authorities. Wouldn't that mean increasing the teacher's workload? Interviewing students, filling out paperwork... That could lead to making people not want to bother reporting it. Hmm. Sad to say, I can't rule out that possibility. The teachers have so much on their plate as it is. I doubt they'd volunteer to look for any extra trouble. That is why we must strike at the root of it. What if you offered your staff a bonus for catching any bullies in the act? <laughs> I know that'd motivate me. Uh, you don't think that'd backfire? <laughs> Actually, it might be worth considering. But the fact of the matter remains. Bullying has no perfect solution. Could you elaborate on why you're going the detective route for this? Like I said, my goal is to nip any bullying in the bud before it can grow any worse. And it's not enough for the teachers to be on full alert? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid I can't fully trust whatever they jot down on some report. Kudasan, you mentioned you couldn't trust your teacher's reports. 
Why is that? Uh, human error, I suppose. Behavior can be ambiguous, and it is difficult to notice every little detail. Your first response seemed to hint at something else. Yes. Yes, I suppose it did. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, oh, where should I begin? You see, folks, it has been almost four years since the suicide of one of our students. The poor boy hung himself at home. You mean because he was being bullied? Not on paper, at least. We established a committee to investigate, but they never turned up anything. Neither did the court. Wait, you were taken to court? Yes. One of the student's parents filed a lawsuit. Now, there were online postings that may or may not have hinted at bullying. But the prosecution never found substantial evidence, and the court ruled we were in the clear. If I can ask your honest opinion, was there really no bullying, Chairman? I would like to believe there wasn't. But I may have been too far removed from the classroom to say that in good faith. Every day I watch our students come to school, and what I see are young, happy kids. They're all so full of life, with bright futures ahead of them. However, around two months ago, we lost contact with one of our student teachers. Everyone assumes it's a mental health issue. The hell? <laughs> Don't tell me he got picked on too. That could have been the case. But I didn't get enough details to say for sure. From what I'd observed, he appeared to be getting along quite well with the students. But I later heard his family had reported him missing. At the end of the day, I'm asking you to shed light on the darkness that's plagued my school. That is why I went the detective route. So, we never actually resolved this, but we did get into a scuffle with your students. No one got hurt, but how do you feel about that? Uh, well, uh, I'm afraid I have to remain ignorant of that. Fine, but let me tell you one thing. Next time I see your students harassing someone, it's gonna be lights out. The kitty gloves are off. <laughs> That also part of the Yagami Detective Agency package? Hey, Chairman. You a big fan of Peking Duck? Hmm? Oh, uh, it's very tasty. Isn't it? It's one of my personal favorites. Nothing like biting into warm, crunchy duck skin. Oh, and it's gotta be slathered in that special sauce. Are you eating okay, Yagamishi? You can place another order. If you could get back to the case, I'll make sure to keep your plate full. Oh, and he tells me to keep it professional. I think this conversation has been enlightening. Any thoughts, Tsukumo? Hmm, what else is there? I suppose we'll have to see when we get there. We may have more questions then. That would be fine. All right then. Time to dig in or what? Are you really pretending you waited? You've been nibbling this whole time. <laughs> you call this nibbling? Hey waiter, I want to place an order. And tell your chef, I hope his kitchen can handle this heat. Uh, I take it this place isn't exactly cheap? Don't you worry about that, Yagamishi. The bill's on us. It's your welcoming party, remember? In that case... Uh, excuse me! I'm ready to order too.
So how was that for your first day's work? I realize that meeting was a lot to take in, but the task at hand seems pretty straightforward. Oh yeah. What was that you said about using hidden cameras? Tomorrow we'll be deciding where to put them. We don't have all that many, so you know. Oh, and we'll be dressed as AC repairmen. What? You gonna make us wear uniforms? <laughs> of course. Freshly laundered and ready for duty. As you may recall, only the chairman is aware of our investigation. We must therefore deceive both student and faculty. Sounds like a plan to me. For now, let's call it a night. <laughs> You've got a point there. In any case, try to make yourselves at home. Apologies in advance if you find our amenities wanting. <laughs>